So you got your Xbox Series X, but you can't get 1440p at 120 frames to work? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you my settings today and how I got it to work. Hey guys, welcome back to Cringy Tech Talk. My name is Chris. If you're new here, then welcome. We are a channel that talk all things tech with a focus on gaming and streaming for both PCs and consoles. If you like the content, then please consider leaving me a like on this video and hitting that subscribe button so you can get notified when I make my next video. So over my last few gear review videos, I've gotten lots of questions about how I got 1440p to work with 120 hertz on my Xbox Series X. So I'm gonna do a short video today just to show you my settings and how I have it working with the Gigabyte G32 QC but this should work on any 1440p 120 hertz monitor. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you my screen and the settings, let's do it. All right, so this is the TV settings. You see 1440p 120 hertz set here. You can also confirm in the OSD menu, 1440p 120 hertz, FreeSync is on. Here's the settings that you want, allow 4K off and the rest of these on. To get variable refresh rate to work, you're gonna to wanna to click the button on the back and that's gonna bring up the menu. You wanna go into the settings and under the gaming, you're going to see where it says AMD uh, FreeSync Premium Pro. You wanna make sure that is turned on in the monitor before you turn it on in the video modes in the Xbox. Another cool thing that you can do that's specific to the Gigabyte G32QC is that you can click the button on the back and go to the game assist feature. And then you can actually turn on where you can monitor what your ref the refresh rate is of the monitor. So this can allow you to confirm that you are operating at 120 frames per second. So here I've launched one of the games that supports 120 frames per second for Xbox Series X. And you can see that it's telling me that I am supporting 120 frames. And you can also see on the refresh rate monitor that we turned on that we're locked in at 120 Hertz. Such beautiful gameplay. Such beautiful gameplay. I can't decline. It's a really pretty game though. For some reason that message says it's 4K 120 frames, but we know that's not the case. This is 1440p 120 frames. I think that's just specific to this game that it, why it says that. All right, so I've shown you my settings. I've shown you how I set it up. I've shown you that it works. And now I wanna talk about some of the things that you might run into and the reason why it might not be working for you. The most common thing that I see, and it also happened to me when I first got this monitor, was that I didn't uncheck the allow 4K option. What that means is that the Xbox is going to send a 4K signal and the monitor is going to accept that 4K signal and it's going to use the internal downscaler of the monitor to downscale that to 1440p so you'll be locked at 4K 60 frames. I talk in my full review of this monitor about why you do not want to do that. But in short, you don't have 120 frames and you also introduce input lag and the image doesn't look as good. And the reason why disabling allow 4K is critical is because you can set the dashboard to 1440p 120 frames. But if you have that allow 4K option checked, then what's going to happen is when you launch a game that supports 4K, it's going to automatically switch over to 4K 60 and turn on that internal downscaler. So what you wanna do is disable that and then you'll stay locked in at a 1440p 120 Hertz signal. Another strange thing that happens that you probably saw in the last clip is when you launch a game and you have allow 4K enabled, when that downscaler is turning on, it's going to black out the screen completely while it turns on that internal downscaler. So I just wanna show how it should launch a game, obviously not turning off the black screen, here locked in at the 1440p mode with allow 4K disabled. So one final note about troubleshooting is with HDR. If you're trying to get your HDR to function at 1440p natively, it's not going to work. I've confirmed this personally with Microsoft support. They are working on adding it in. However, currently there is no HDR support at a native 1440p signal. What that means is on the Gigabyte G32QC, if you are using the internal downscaler, then you do get HDR support. However, HDR support is not worth it on this monitor because of the introduced input lag 
the decrease in the visual fidelity and also just that annoying turning off black screen. No one likes that and it's not smooth and cohesive. So boo on that. And that wraps up this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button on this video if it helped you out. It would help me out a lot if you did that. And if you're curious about any other videos, I'm gonna leave a card up here that talks about some of these monitors in more detail during my reviews. Thanks so much, guys, and I hope you have a fantastic evening. Peace out.